exceptionally short ball from Pollock and it's been dispatched by Inzerman. And as Jeffrey Boycott was mentioning earlier, he is a class player, there's no doubt about it, and he's taking his time to settle in, and the first opportunity given by Sean Pollock to play a shot, Inzerman played it to perfection. There's no foul leg, he's in short, and Moin Khan has beaten him, and it's gone away for four. Inzerman with another boundary. Always danger when you have that uh, fine leg short. And it's gone through. Very unusual. But as we saw yesterday evening with the West Indies team in the field, ball now beginning to pick up St. Jew out there. And De Villiers having that ball just slip through his grasp. to the square leg boundary for four runs. Moen timing that one very well indeed, playing it late and getting it past the fieldsman at square leg. <laughs> very good jump there by umpire Ian Robinson. And he hit that extremely well, four runs, first bounce over the square leg boundary. And if you bowl short to Inzaman, you do so at your peril. A little bit short, Alan Donald. It certainly wasn't attempted bounce or anything like that. They're not allowed in this competition at the moment, but uh, Inzaman just gets onto it so quickly. This is through the covers. Poor ones, very good ones. reaction from the crowd as though those were the winning runs yes I like Moin Khan he's got a big heart but a certain amount of ability he cracks this one there are other players who've got more ability but don't make as much of their ability as what Moin Khan does courageous player big heart good cricket brain what they need one or two boundaries still pick up the singles but suddenly they've got to up the tempo a little bit and again which is not easy without losing wickets they don't have too many to play with well that was much too short from Pets and Cox shot shot magnificent shot that's one of the shots that he really plays so well stands up straight and delivers we saw him play a number of those shots in that splendid 96 and he made in the Pakistani first innings in the third test at Faisalabad and he punished Donald in this way as well as Pollock and Klusner and uh, it's Klusner on the receiving end again on this time right down the ground just to the onside of the stumps a magnificent shot by Inzaban another one oh he's coming back for the second this could be trouble and has he got the bat down the big man really got rolling that time and umpire Steve Dunn hasn't even bothered to call for the umpire the crowd now acknowledge his 50 because without uh, the scoreboard knowing it he was credited with four runs earlier in that last over from Klusner now this is a pretty tight call for the umpire not to refer goodness me Steve Dunn cleverly bowled he gave that quite a bit of air deceived him with flight there Yes, I'm surprised at Moin Khan. He's looking for that cut shot, that late cut, that steer all the time behind square. That's better. Then you've got to go with the spin. That's much better. And then it makes Simcock think about it. Well, 
that four brings up the hundred partnership between these two. What a fight back it has been. This again, I think, is a look at that run out. You see, it was pretty tight. An umpire done, he got it right. But he'll be a little nervy when he sees that on the highlights replay that he didn't refer it. And this is more runs. Pollock steaming round the boundary. He's not going to get there. And they're on their feet now. 22 runs have come from the last two overs. It's 116 for four. Yes, he's gone, he's got him now. That was LBW, Moen Khan's splendid innings has come to an end. And he was playing, I think trying to work that away to leg, across the line, and LBW. And this time Moen trying to play across the line while pitching in the line. And his foot is also within those stumps. And that's why Ian Robinson had no hesitation in giving him out. And Pakistan losing their fifth wicket, 142 for five. Him. So Hansi Kronia strikes the decisive blow. The Gaddafi Stadium has all of a sudden gone absolutely silent. I think they realize now that Pakistan's hopes have gone. Well, his mom had little option really. He had to hit some boundaries. The rate was just going further and further out. Kronia got it straight. He knows that that's done it. There you go. But uh, this ground should stand for this man. It's been a marvellous effort on his part to, to drag his side out of absolute rack and ruin at nine for four. And he and Mohan Khan stabilised things and certainly entertained this huge crowd here.